Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this holographic twilight gradient. Pretty simple to do, so if you'd like to see how I did it, just stay tuned. Okay, starting out, I've already done my base coat and one coat of denim dash as my base color. That's one of the colors that I'm going to be sponging with, along with grape times as well as turquoise seas and those are all Maybelline colors but first I'm just going to go around the sides of my nails with some liquid latex and I know some people really like to see you know the base coat or the base color but it just depends on my mood and on how much editing I'm willing to do whether or not I include that as part of the tutorial but I think those are both pretty basic things and you can also of course see them in other videos of mine if you have any questions. So I'm going to finish this on my left hand and once it dries it'll be clear. The latex dries pretty fast and the one thing I would recommend is to kind of stick with doing one hand at a time because if you touch a part of your finger to another part of a finger that both have latex they will stick together so I'm just going to start applying my colors on the sponge and get to the sponging I'm gonna guesstimate this will probably take two or three layers to get uh, the opacity that I want and I'm gonna overlap just a little bit on the sponge um, I like to do that if I have room because it does help the colors blend a little bit in addition to, you know, the back and forth motion on the nail. going to peel off liquid latex. I did want to mention too, just as far as, you know, like applying the colors on the sponge can also play a part in how it shows up on the nail. I wanted mainly the darker blue with the turquoise and the purple kind of more at the tip, so that's how I placed it on the sponge as well. And you can see how easily the liquid latex comes off. And I'm going to peel that all off on this hand and then finish off my sponging on my right hand. Okay, I finished off my other hand and cleaned up just around the edges anything that the latex didn't catch or that was outside of the latex. And now I'm going to do a coat of holographic pearls to give it a little bit of holographic sparkle and then finish the whole thing off with top coat. So here's the finished look and I think it has kind of like a twilight sky look to it. If you don't want quite this much sparkle you could go with something more like China Glaze Fairy Dust, which is also a holographic topper, but it's not quite as dense. And I think I'm going to sneak it just a slightly darker background here. Might show up a little bit better on camera, but I'm quite pleased with these. I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and as always, Thanks for watching.